hey how's it going and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a mix between super annoying and terribly funny an art commissioner reached out to an artist and asked them if they make nft art with the premise being the artist gets paid for their work after the project is launched and sales are made hopefully and then the artist said no because working for free upfront without any form of payment is a totally bad idea but then the art commissioner immediately got mad and threatened the artist with stealing his work and using it without giving any credit <laughs> what he just explained to you why he doesn't want to make nfts pause now for people watching this video who aren't specifically artists and don't understand how commissions work let me give you a brief explanation commissions are a quick and easy way for artists to make money with their work by making drawings for people based on their requests. Usually these commissions are paid for with money, but some years ago, artists also used DeviantArt core membership as a form of transaction. But let's all be honest, we prefer getting paid in cash. Artists' commission rates differ from artist to artist, with industry professional artists having super ridiculous rates. But for most Twitter artists and freelancers, which is probably going to be the majority of you watching this video, rates are usually based on the size of the drawing, the size of the character in the drawing, and if the artist is drawing a bust of the character or half of the body of the character, or if it is a full character drawing. Some artists are comfortable drawing mecha and robots, while others are comfortable drawing not safe for work art and gore. So you just have to find the artist that can satisfy your needs and pay them accordingly. Now, as for NFTs, NFTs are well, they can be... Okay, honestly, most of the art community just sees NFTs as cow feces and the opinion of the masses cannot be changed. But for some people, NFTs are the next best thing in the world. Now, usually when I make videos, I always have a goal for everyone watching the videos, Cristiano Ronaldo lookouts, or at least a lesson to be learned after watching the video. Well, most of my videos at least. But this one just has me shook. The Irish artist Scruffy Shenanigans on Instagram, whose real name is Dom Murphy, posted these series of images on his accounts of a conversation he had with a Woolby art commissioner who was trying to get him to make NFT art after he told them he wasn't interested at all. We've got another contender for the art hole club. Been a while. When you receive one too many messages about NFTs and have some time to kill but end up discovering a few other questionable practices. Feels odd I have to even say this but I don't currently nor do I ever plan on doing NFTs in any way, shape or form for a number of reasons and my own personal ones. If it's your cup of tea, that's your business. But this trend of trying to aggressively convince folks to take part through isn't sitting well with me. I'd rather see that amount of energy put into supporting creative folks and their many creative endeavors that will actually make a difference in their lives. Much love and doodles folks. I like how he ends the caption by telling NFT folk to support artists in other endeavors that might be and will be helpful to the artist, knowing fully well that's probably never going to happen since NFT folk are basically just crypto bros but with an underwhelming taste in art and exploiting undeserving people. Like Nigerian politicians. So now I'm just going to read this funny little conversation Scruffy and the art commissioner had. And trust me, it's probably the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Hi, your art is awesome. Do you do commission work? Hey there, I do indeed. Commission lists will be opening back up shortly. What are you looking to get done up? At this point, I'm sure Scruffy was probably thinking this person wanted to do some character work or just simple fan art or maybe a redraw of their OC like any normal person would ask for. But nope, he thought wrong. My guy turned around and 360 no scoped him from max height with the nastiest flick shot ever. Do you know about NFTs? NFTs? Hmm. 
You mean newts, frogs, and toads? <laughs> if this isn't the perfect way to reply anyone who's asking about NFTs, I don't know what is. It's so funny how the tables turned and now the artist is doing the trolling. Sure, I love newts, frogs, and toads. I go herping on hikes and everything. At this point, it's clearly obvious that he's trolling the art commissioner since almost every person with a smartphone and unnecessary access to Twitter has heard of NFTs mostly without their consent or they've probably seen these apes on their timeline for sure. So I think the art commissioner just wanted to play cool and not try to be rude to the artist, which is a good thing. I applaud him for that. <laughs> No, cryptocurrency NFTs. I want art for a line I'm planning. Cryptocurrencies? Hmm. Is that something to do with the illegal trade of cryptids? Sorry, but I'm a staunch advocate of cryptid rights. How can you not tell he's trolling you? <laughs> If someone tells you cryptocurrency has to do with the selling of illegal cryptid rights, you have to be down bad to believe this person is telling the truth or being serious at all. You have to be really down bad. You have to be down bad horrendous to believe someone. <laughs> I don't know if you're being sarcastic or you really don't know. I'll explain what I want below. Finally. The moment we've all been waiting for, when the art commissioner explains their totally obnoxious and time-consuming request, and then it finally gets to the part everyone is excited about. Money. I really dig your profile pic on here. I love the style of it. What I'm thinking is that style, but of me in different outfits. Maybe masks too. I'm still planning the collection. Payment will be after the collection is sold because I need to cover the cost of minting upfront. If the collection is a success, we can work on more. How does that sound? That sounds terrible, my guy. Before we even talk about the NFTs, can you believe this guy said payments will be after the collection is sold out? So what if you don't sell anything at all? Does that mean no payment? So the artist would have worked for nothing then? This person clearly has no heart and is filled with intestines only because he has a lot of guts. <laughs> I mean, if you're hiring an artist to work on your project, the least you can do is pay them for the time and effort they're going to spend thinking of ideas and concepts and then making sketches with different iterations for you to choose from before even finalizing and coloring the image. The artist has no business with your project and you paying the artist should never be dependent on if your project makes bank or not. The artist has already done a job for you. Ideally, you should have paid them at least 70% upfront and then you pay the rest when the image is done. And also, how self-absorbed can you be to want to make an entire series of just you in different clothing and outfits as an NFT collection? Couldn't you find another animal and make them bored as well? I mean, isn't that the trend for every NFT crypto art bro? Hmm. Sounds like you want me to provide you with art with payments pending on make-believe money if the make-believe money ever happens. Nah pal, I don't do NFT art for a myriad of reasons. Cheers, but I'll pass. Simple and polite. At this point, any normal person should just say thank you and have a nice day, but oh no, NFT crypto bros are a different breed. But you do commissions. What's the difference? Passively trying to guilt trip him into doing work for you? Check. There's a number of big differences really. I won't get into the many NFT reasons here as far more educated folks than me have explained them better with more nuance. As for the commission reasons, they usually come with guaranteed payment and that's usually upfront. 
I don't know how else I can explain it really. Which is literally what I said before. If you're trying to commission an artist to do work for you, the least you can do is pay them upfront for it or at least give them a fair percentage. Instead of trying to get them to do free work for you and promising to pay them whenever your work or project is successful if that ever happens. And then the art commissioner keeps on trying to persuade him into doing the work even after he explained why he wasn't interested in the project and how he felt the entire situation was just morally wrong. Then the art commissioner just said the most ignorant and unprovoked comment ever. Morally wrong would be if I just took one of your art without asking. So... Stealing art is the only alternative to getting an artist to do work for you when they don't want to? How did we even get here? But I'm asking, can I at least use one of your arts for an idea to show someone how I want it to be drawn? Obviously the answer would be no. After everything you just said, only someone who is extremely patient to tolerate all that and keep on chatting with you. So Scruffy replied to that with the funniest meme image I have seen. He just sent him a drawing of a literal asshole to use as a reference for his new project. Imagine an entire NFT collection but of people's behind and then they call it bored anuses. <laughs> That's the shit right? <laughs> Okay, seriously though, I'm so tired of seeing things like this. I think the decent thing to do when someone doesn't show interest in whatever it is you want them to do is just to back off and let them enjoy their peace. Instead of just forcing them to do work for you or trying to use reverse psychology to guilt trip them. Most importantly, pay artists for their work. Learning to draw and color or paint at a high level takes a lot of time and practice. So show artists some respect and appreciate them by paying them whenever you make requests or want them to do something for you. Just don't be like this guy and try to cut corners. And as for people wondering why Scruffy didn't want to have anything to do with NFTs or if you're just curious on why the entire art community just hates NFTs, my good friend Thumin made a video on why NFTs are hated in the art community. So you can just go watch that after watching this video if you want to know more about the situation. And it's a really good video, so go watch it. Anyway, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on this video. Share it with a friend. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mohamed Agbadi. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Alright, pretty penguins, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.